Hello, this is Super Saiyan Mouse with maybe a volcano me. I don't know yet. <laughs> Sorry for the bad video quality. So, last week, my brother called me yelling and screaming at me to avoid The Last Jedi at all costs. He said he hated it. Said, and I quote, he would rather watch a two-hour documentary about Jar Jar Binks. I was like, whoa. That's pretty bad. So that was a, that was nightmarish. So I go to Rotten Tomatoes. And like everybody else, like you guys saw, I was like, okay, certified fresh. So that's a good sign. Because Rotten Tomatoes, they're harsh, man. They are harsh. They've bashed all kind of movies that I like. Uh, you know, usually I pay attention to the audience section anyway. But this time, yeah, the audience section... 57% approval rating. Whoa. So then I read the comments section on Rotten Tomatoes for, not the critics, I don't care what the snobs think. I don't care what they think. Uh, so I read the comments for the uh, for the general audience, the fans. I'm not even making this up. I'm sure you guys saw the same thing. It was five stars, one star. Five stars, one star. Five stars, one star. Five stars, one star. I was like, whoa, what the hell? Let's make up your damn mind, people. The comments... On movie review websites, they were spoiler-free. I mean, this this has been really difficult for me to avoid spoiler-free stuff. And I've already had a couple of things spoiled for me a tiny bit. But um, it was like, uh, you know, I mean, they're either saying best Star Wars movie ever or worst Star Wars movie ever. People saying this is going to end the franchise. This is uh, this is this was bold and it was daring. For those who did like it, they're, they're saying bold and daring. But I'm about to find out three hours from now. So... That's why I'm filming this. So my brother was insisting that I'd not see it. My brother said that um, this has ruined his Star Wars fandom, period. So I was like, whoa. As a matter of fact, now I think about it, my poor brother, he's got nothing left. Uh, as you guys know, he's the one that got me. For those of you guys who've been around, can't believe you stayed subscribed for five years, even though I haven't done any damn thing in a long time. But I guess, for those of you guys who don't know, my brother's the one who got me into anime in the first place back in 98, 99. Uh, he was the one who got me into Dragon Ball Z. The only other animes my brother liked was uh, Gundam Wing and maybe Tenchi Muyo. I tried to get him into Ron, but one half, and there was no takers there. And there was no way in hell I could get him into Sailor Moon. Well, he was not biting on that one. Uh, but my brother quit being an anime fan and a Dragon Ball Z fan when the Majin Buu saga happened. Fat Majin Buu, big Majin Buu, uh, you know. And yeah, I'm not going to lie. I stopped watching Dragon Ball Z for a little while after that. Then I came back. I came back when Skinny Buu showed up, when e Kid Buu showed up. And it got a lot better. But to me, I was a little ticked off saying, geez, it took you guys long enough to get, to get good. But for my brother, brother was too little too late. Then my brother moved to Pittsburgh. And he lived in Pittsburgh for two years. And uh, he, he, me and my brother, we were never into football as kids, never. So when my brother lived in Pittsburgh for two years, he became a Steelers fan. And so he comes back and like, oh, I'm a Steelers fan now, right? Well, then earlier this year, my brother said he had to, he ripped up one of his Steelers jerseys because uh, the players stayed in the locker room during the national anthem. So my brother said he's, he is done with football, he's done with the Steelers. Uh my team's taking a knee too, and I'm still sticking around with my Seahawks, even though they're not going to make the playoffs right now. <laughs> that's that's over. Um, but you know what? My second favorite team are the Vikings. Skull Vikings. Geo knows what I'm talking about. Yes. The uh, and then my brother said that uh, because he hated the Last Jedi, that his Star Wars fandom is done. Wow, my brother's got nothing left. Now, maybe I'm, so this is going to be my pre-watching the movie take, because, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was this close to completely boycotting the film. I was this close to not even seeing this. I said, you know what? I'm going to wait for the Han Solo movie next year, or maybe if I really got the balls, maybe I will even wait and just watch this movie when episode 9 comes out, and I'll just watch, you know, this in episode 9. That way, in case it's crap, I can watch 9 immediately after that. Um, but I was like, dude, I can't click on anything on YouTube. I can't go anywhere on YouTube or online or Facebook without getting uh, without getting spoiled. It's like, if I don't watch this movie, I'm going to be out of the loop. You know, it takes a lot for me to really hate a movie. I'm the only one in the family who loved Independence Day. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, 
uh, how old was I, 13, 14, when we saw Independence Day, and I didn't want to go see that movie. I was scared. I was too scared to see that movie. I thought it was going to be a scary movie. I wound up being the only one who loved it. Everybody else in the family hated it. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of like that. Maybe uh, I want to like this movie. I really do. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But before I go any further, I loved the last two Star Wars movies. Rogue One, Home Run! Rogue One, that was the Star Wars movie I've been waiting 20 years to see. Wish I, that was the Star Wars movie I wish came out back in 97 when they you know re-released the special edition. Uh, then uh, uh, The Force Awakens, I don't, I don't care what the haters say. I love The Force Awakens. Mm, copy chance episode four. Copy chance episode four verbatim. Well, you know what? At least they're copycatting off a good movie, which is more than I can say for the prequels. So my brother says he's done with Star Wars because of this film. If I can survive the prequels, I'm having a hard time believing that this might be it, but I don't know. I'm seriously expecting, but based on what people have told me, I'm almost expecting to see the very first scene be Jar Jar Binks saying, Misa back! The only reason why I am seeing this film is because I've had one friend, Buddy Patrick, who called me right after he saw The Last Jedi, and he was screaming on the phone, screaming get your butt in the theater he said we well, said something that was blasphemy he said this movie was better than empire strikes back and i was like dude that's blasphemy uh i asked uh, three of the co-workers of mine who are also star wars nerds star wars geeks i'm gonna take their word over anybody else well the vote came in three to two three and two in favor two against but the two against extremely strongly against uh, my brother and uh, one other person uh, loathed it. So I'm getting loathed or loved about this film. So we, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, hopefully I'll get my reviews and I will... Um, knowing me... So, like I said, on Rotten Tomatoes, it's either a five-star, one-star, five-star, one-star. I'll make a prediction right now. I'm going to say it's going to be a three. I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to give it three stars. I might. Maybe I'll stick with that. Um... I have a hard time believing this is going to be worse than Attack of the Clones. I have a hard time believing this is going to be worse than Phantom Menace. Uh, but maybe I'll have something to celebrate if it's better than Revenge of the Sith. But I, my expectations are it's nothing's going to be as good as the original trilogy, okay? Nothing's going to be as good as that. All right, so we shall see. Uh, I'll be back. need someone to show me my place in all this. Like I said before, I was this close to boycotting this film and not even seeing it because everybody and their mama, uh, especially online, YouTube just tore it to shreds and whatnot. Uh, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was really nervous going into the movie theater uh, to see The Last Jedi. Um, I mean, I was going in there almost as if I was gonna go see The Dentist. And uh, looks like I'm in the minority here. Fucking awesome! Holy shit! What movie are you people seeing? What movie did you guys see? First of all, okay, this would be the spoiler free review, just well, two minor spoilers. Spoiler free review, then I'm gonna go more into depth when I get home. Okay? This has the best opening of any Star Wars movie. 
This is even a better opening than uh, Revenge of the Sith. Because I kind of liked how Revenge of the Sith opened up. This has the best Star Wars opening. The first battle, this first space battle, I'm already having a blast watching the first space battle. And uh, you know, Poe taking a gamble there. Uh, Poe is great in this episode, in my opinion. Uh, re really, really, really. I almost missed this. I seriously almost stayed home. I seriously... So many, so much trollish, trolls online. Almost stayed home. I was this close to boycotting the films because like, the comments I was reading online was worse than all the prequels combined. Worse than Batman and Robin. Worse than The Godfather 3. Are you people high? Okay. There's a petition going online that my brother has stated. If you guys hated the movie that much, I'm okay with them making another canon. But this film does not deserve the hate it's getting. It really doesn't. This is better than all three of the prequels combined. Nothing will be as good as the original trilogy. Make no mistake about it. Okay, the number one reason why everybody hates this movie is because of Luke Skywalker. Luke is a very, 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 very different character. Okay? So, I'm just going to say this, because I know why my brother's mad. My brother is a Luke Skywalker lover. Loves Luke, loves Luke to bits and pieces, and he is infuriated about Luke in this film. I was more prepared, because I kind of saw this coming a mile away. I kind of saw Luke look the way he looked in episode 7. He's depressed. He's bummed out. I knew Luke was going to say no to training Ray right off the bat. That, that was a gimme. Of course that was. Why were you guys so surprised? Oh, thanks for my lightsaber. Young, young, young Padawan, I shall train you. People change. Time changes. Luke was bummed out. I'm going to get I'm gonna get more to maybe the real reason why I like this film. When I get home, but that'd be too much spoilers. I'm only gonna spoil two things uh, right now, okay? This is the longest Star Wars movie, and I'm not gonna lie, it does feel like the longest Star Wars movie. So I would make, th there's a couple of changes that I would have made to this film. First of all, I think that The Force Awakens should have been the longest Star Wars movie. So uh, there was a bunch of deleted scenes in The Force Awakens that should have been in the movie. This film, I'm gonna admit, there's a ton of scenes they could have cut. Easily a ton of scenes they could have cut. Uh, there was one scene that, there's, there was, there's, there's two scenes in this That is my brother, that is my brother texting me because uh, I texted him saying he was wrong about Force Awakens, uh, about the, the Last Jedi, and he is pissed. By the way, bro, saved my life two months ago. My brother actually saved my life, though. I mean, not literally, like, like taking me to the hospital or nothing, but he saved my ass, big time. So I dedicate that to him, but I disagree with him on this. I want to thank my friend Patrick, who did see Star Wars last night and flat out told me to get your butt to the movie theater immediately. Look, let's get something straight. A few of you guys who have not seen The uh, the Last Jedi because of all the negative comments and all the negative YouTube stuff, listen to me very carefully. If you're expecting this to be just like any other Star Wars movie, don't see it. If you're, if you're not open to change, if you're not open to adjustments in characters, don't see it. Okay? If you want to see some action, see it. If you are a fan of Rogue Squadron, like the Rogue Squadron books, the Rogue Squadron video games like I was when I was younger, go see it. Love the Rebellion resistance scenes. Uh, great space battles in this one. Uh, ironically, the shortest battle, this isn't a spoiler, this is in the trailer. The shortest battle is the Walker fight. So just giving you a heads up there. The previews were all a lie. The trailer was a lie. That's why people are mad, because, oh, you're expecting things to happen here and here and here. But you know what? That's brilliant! Because I think trailers show too damn much these days. You watch movie trailers these days. You're showing the whole damn movie. Why? There was a movie trailer um, about a plane that crashed in the, in, in the desert. I'll show you that trailer. It was like the worst movie trailer of all time because they, they literally showed the beginning, the middle, and the end of the movie all in the trailer. It's like, okay, I have no reason to see this film. You just showed, you even showed how they escaped. So there's there's too much just stuff being shown in trailers these days. And J.J. Abrams said that himself. And I agree with him on that. So I'm going to say this right now. 
Uh, I'll, that'll be for the spoiler review. So, yes, there's stuff in the trailer that stuff you think is going to happen is not going to happen. So here's one spoiler. Here's I'm going to make two spoilers in this video. Bet you guys are all going to think Princess Leia is going to die in this movie because Carrie Fisher's dead, right? Not really. Now, I'm not going to lie. That my brother called me, and he spo I said I had told him to spoil one scene for me. Describe one scene, and he said, yes, there is a scene. Heads up, if you think this is dumb, then don't see it. Because I'm not going to lie, I almost boycotted the film over this. He said that Leia flies through outer space like Superman. It's like, what? But when I saw it, A wasn't that bad. And B, hello, she has the force. Everybody's whining and moaning and bitching and complaining, complaining about the force away because, hey, Leia's got the force. Why doesn't she do anything? Leia survives the vacuum of space. It's like, oh, how dare she survive the vacuum of space? Now, I will say this. Maybe they should have killed her character off. I'll be the first to say this right now. Out of respect for Carrie Fisher, I will say this. Maybe they should have killed her off. That They should have let her die that way. I think that would have been a little more respectful. Okay? Just my two cents. But Carrie Fisher does a very good job in this film. This is easily the best acted Star Wars movie. Mark Hamill, phenomenal. Carrie Fisher, great job. Uh, I think everybody's doing a good job with, with acting in this film. Jerry's still out on Kylo Ren, though. I mean, he's better, better as um, Honest Trailer said, he's better than Anakin. I'll tell you, I've, I've come, I've sat in this car for a while, and I figured out why I like this film, why everybody else hates it. I really have. Uh, there's one other dumb scene. Well, the, the, the beginning of the scene was stupid. The ending was not. Yoda it does make an appearance in this film. And I kiss this to Frank Oz. You could have been a little bit more serious. I mean, he was uh, Yoda was acting more goofy than usual at a time when Luke really needs to hear what he says. And let me tell you something: Yoda says something to Luke that I can completely relate to. This is the same with spoil for you. Maybe this is the real reason why I like the film. Yoda says to Luke, "Failure is the greatest teacher." And that is so true. Because I've failed a lot these last seven years. I've really screwed thing up. And I've been really angry with myself. Maybe I like this movie because I feel like Luke on that island. You I'll go ahead and say this. I think the real reason I'll tell the real reason why, in my opinion, everybody hates this movie. Well, not everybody, because there are those. So I was confused why everybody gave this film five stars or one star, five star, one star, five star, one star, five star, one star. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. Jeez, he's still texting me. Um, better change his avatar. Um, so the thing, here's why, in my opinion, everybody hates it. The audience, like Ray, you were all expecting Luke Skywalker to make his big grand entrance. You were all expecting Luke to come back and get in his X-Wing and save the day. Well, guess what? That's not how things work. You're all expecting this great legendary Luke Skywalker to come back. Well, you know what? Old Luke is right. You can't just depend on a legend to come save you. Maybe the real lesson of episode eight is you got to save yourselves sometimes. Yeah, the ending's weird. I will go if this if you want me to bash it, this is easily the weirdest Star Wars movie ever. This is the weirdest Star Wars. So if you're not up for that, skip it. So as Yoda said, you must unlearn what you have learned. Okay? So for those of you who haven't seen Last Jedi, go in there with an open mind. Don't be expecting to see Luke from the original trilogy. Don't be expecting to see giddy, happy, farm boy Luke. That Luke is gone. Okay, I maybe I can re relate to the new Luke because I feel the same way. I agree that Mark Hamill should have had a lot more input in the writing. I'll agree with people on that. But this is this is easily, with the exception of Rogue One, with the exception of Rogue One, my, me personally, this is the best be better of the new movies. It's easily better than the prequels. 